everyone, today's look is a kind of easy modern version of the Bridget Bardot look. Now Max Factor is celebrating 100 years of glamour and so they've recreated iconic beauty looks from throughout the decades on Gwyneth Paltrow. They asked me to pick a decade and do my version of the look. So I chose Bridget Bardot because she's one of my hugest beauty icons but also cheekily because I've always wanted an excuse to sit there and um, practice my feline flick using a liquid liner so it gave me a good excuse and so I hope that you really enjoy this tutorial uh, it's pretty quick and easy once you've mastered the flick so let's go back to the start and see how I did it now this look is really all about the eyes, that really kind of smouldery, sex kitten eye. And so I want the rest of the makeup to almost fade into insignificance, if you know what I mean. So I'm keeping the skin very, very simple. I'm using a CC cream. This is the Max Factor Colour Correcting Cream. And I'm using 75, which is tanned. And just applying that using fingertips. And you can see that's just got enough coverage just to even out my skin tone and leave it looking really kind of creamy but it doesn't have any sheen or shimmer it's just a lovely barely there kind of base no bronzer no blusher no highlighter but I am going to go in just underneath the eyes with a little bit of under eye concealer and this one is the Master Touch concealer and I'm using shade 309 And that is skin done. For my eyes I'm using this Trio eyeshadow. I'm going to be using the palest shade here mixed with the medium shade as a base all over my eyelid. And then taking just the tiniest, tiniest bits underneath the lower lash line. And so for that really heavy, kittenish kind of eye, I'm going to take a cold pencil eyeliner, and this is in 020 black. I'm going to really, really push that down into the upper lash line, so really close to the lashes, and really kind of scribble it in and smudge it in. You don't have to be too incredibly neat about this either, because I'm going to take a brush afterwards and just smudge that out a little bit just to give it a little bit of a softer edge and then taking my shadows again just taking the darkest brown across the outer part of the lid so getting there with the smokiness now it's time for the main event which is the feline flick steady your nerves because this is the bit that I find most complicated or most tricky and easiest to get wrong I'm using the Max Factor Colour Expert which is a liquid liner, and I find liquid liner is the easiest way to get that really clean line. Now the most important thing with this is not to feel like you have to do it all in one go. And what I like to do is pinpoint my ending point for the flick, which for me is about there. And then starting in the inner corner, just slide your way out. And you can do that in sections, it doesn't have to be, as I said, all in one go. So staying really close to the lash line and then to get this flick what I do is I follow the contour of the underneath of the eye and follow that upwards towards the flick like and then starting from about three quarters of the way across the top eye take that line in a kind of little triangle out to meet the flick and then you can fill that in. So keep going back in there just to correct and adjust as you need to. And then finishing off with lashings and lashings of mascara. I'm using the Max Factor 2000 calorie mascara and I'm actually using it in brown black rather than black just for more of a retro feel. This one is so so buildable. And then of course just a touch of mascara on the bottom lashes bouncing that mascara wand off the lashes, concentrating on the root. And I think that that's built up quite a lovely kittenish retro eye there, but what Bardot look would be complete without the false lashes? I think that they, they do really finish it off. So, in with my false lashes. 
in with a touch more concealer under the eyes. Just keep everything nice and clean. And just a touch underneath the arch of the eyebrow there just to keep everything looking lifted. And then for my lips, I'm using this uh, Lipfinity lip colour. This is in Always Delicate. And then just patting that in on its own. For an almost matte effect, it's a really soft focus stain. And that is the makeup done. There's a bit of tweaking on the hair. And there we have my modern version of the Bridget Bardot look. Hope that you've really enjoyed this. Please do check out the other uh, Gwyneth Paltrow looks from the other decades are over on my website and also Anna from Viviana Does Makeup has already done her look from the decades so go and check that out too. Let me know which your favourite look from the decades is. Make sure you like, subscribe and I shall see you next time.